In this demo, I will put what we have learned to use by transforming a sound from literal to abstract. Abstract sounds are a great way to affect your listeners psychologically. You can do this with any sound. However, it works best on isolated sound effects rather than ambiences that have a lot of different sounds in them. Feel free to experiment. First, my workspace. Click on the audio workspace and alter it to your specifications. I like to see a larger viewer window so I can see the waveforms and I need to see the effects window. If you don't see a window, you can find it in the window menu. Here is my literal sound, a bell. I'm going to make this calming sound effect into something unnerving. You can see in the waveform that these bell sounds have a very distinct sound envelope, a sharp attack and a long decay. The object is being struck and depending on its size and material, it vibrates for a little while. I'm going to slow this down and reverse it. Go to Clip Speed Duration. I will slow it down to 20% and it will click the reverse box so now the sound is backwards. I don't need all of this clip now, so I'm going to cut it down just to where I need it. Here's what that sounds like. Next, I'm going to pitch this down so that it rumbles and sounds ominous. You can find the pitch shifter in the audio effects window, time and pitch. Drag the effect onto the clip in the timeline. Find the effects controls window for the clip. In the effect, click on the edit button. In this window, you can lower the pitch. The top number is half notes. The bottom is smaller increments. I want a big change, so I'll lower it all the way down. You can layer these effects too. Here's what that sounds like. Next, I'm going to apply a fade. Go to Audio, Transitions, Constant Power. Apply fades to the start and end. I want it to build up slowly, then cut suddenly. I don't want to get an audio pop once it cuts to nothing. Click and drag on a fade to extend or shorten it. Here's what that sounds like. I'm going to adjust the volume up so that it's louder at the end. I'm monitoring the decibel levels in my audio meter. If it peaks or turns red, then I'm too loud. When sound peaks, it distorts and sounds terrible. So stay out of the top of the red zone. But that's good. I've got it just loud enough. If you want to loop a sound, first create in and out points. Then go to the program window and click on the plus sign to access the button editor. Find the loop icon. Drag it into the button menu and press OK. I've got mine placed at the start so I can easily find it. Voila! A literal sound that you can identify a bell that is normally calming has been transformed into an unnerving, abstract sound. So experiment. The sounds that work best are isolated sound effects. Depending on what mood you're trying to create, see if you can make a sound unrecognizable.